Okay, today I'd like to talk about the difference in weightlifting between free weights and weight machines. Free weights being your barbells and dumbbells, machines being things like your chest press and leg extensions. Now without begrudging anyone who prefers machines to free weights, it's almost universally accepted in the weightlifting world that if you want to build real world strength, free weights are the way to go. The reason being that the body works best as a single unit, not in isolated components. If we refer to Starting Strength, a book considered a classic in the field of weightlifting, here's what author Mark Rapito has to say. It's almost impossible to gain muscle using machines. People who were trying to do so were trained for months without gaining any significant weight. When they switched to barbells, a miraculous thing would happen. They'd gain more weight within a week than they'd gain the entire time they'd used machines. The reason being that isolated training where muscles are worked as separate parts does not reflect how those muscles will actually be used. For instance, there's no way to isolate the quadriceps from the hamstrings in any movement that human beings would do. So why should they be trained that way? The human body functions as a complete system. It works that way and likes to be trained that way. What he's basically saying is that free weights better reflect how muscles are actually used. For instance, if you're good at deadlifts, you'll be good at moving furniture. But for isolation lifts, when do you ever use muscles in isolation? The answer is never. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself puts his success in Mr. Olympia tournaments to using free weights over machines. In his own words from his autobiography, here's what he has to say. The truth is, not all bodybuilders are strong, especially those who've done most of their training with weight machines. But years of powerlifting and working with free weights has given me massive bicep shoulders and back muscles. When Arnold is telling you to use free weights, you use free weights. Free weights also work more muscles in less time. For instance, if you wanted to work the whole body using machines, you'd have to go through a variety of different machines, each focusing on different muscles. Whereas with free weights, deadlifts alone will pretty much work every major muscle. This is because free weights engage a host of stabiliser muscles machines do not. By that I mean think of a bench press compared to a chest press machine. A press machine with its fixed up down angle removes the chance of the bar swaying side to side. And though this may sound convenient, it essentially removes the strength required to keep the weight steady. Take any machine and the same will apply. Yes you're isolating muscles to work exclusively, but it's at the expense of other muscles that would have been worked during the lift. Machines basically do half the work for you by taking the burden off your stabiliser muscles. The main advantage machines have over free weights are basically the safety element, as in you won't drop a machine on your head the way you would a bar, and being able to target a particular muscle, which is generally something for already experienced free weight lifters. Also, locking the body into a fixed range of motion, which most machines do, inhibits the body's natural biomechanics. Take a barbell squat compared to a machine squat. A barbell squat is a motion in which the body is fully expressed. Our joints and muscles move unimpeded throughout their entire range of motion. Do the same on a smith machine and the movement will feel stifled and artificial. As in, you'll never move that way outside of a gym. And this is the main reason why free weights are favoured over machines. Because outside a gym, you simply won't move your body in isolated components on perfectly fixed plane angles. So training them in such fashion has very little use. If we look at the lying leg curler, when would you ever use your legs in this fashion? What kind of day-to-day -day motions require the legs to work in this way? Machines like this lack any real-world functionality, meaning the only thing they help you get stronger on are the machines themselves. Bottom line, Unless you're into bodybuilding, you'll get better results if you stick to free weight compound lifts. So if you're a beginner to weightlifting, a barbell will probably be a better investment than the gym membership that only has machines. As a beginner, a barbell and bench is all you really need. So many beginners go to a gym, hit the hip adductors or whatever, and soon believe they'll get a body like Bruce or Arnold. But the secret to effectively gaining strength is to consistently squat, deadlift and bench press. Every muscle in the body is worked when doing these lifts. The squat, deadlift and bench press, otherwise known as the Big Three, have been the staple of every strongman's repertoire since weightlifting began, and to ignore them will ensure you don't reach your strength potential. Squats, deadlift and bench press will help build all-round functional strength that have the biggest carryover in day-to-day -day life. 
If you want to use machines, then go ahead, but do so after building a strong free weight base. Spend six months building your body using free weights, then think about supplementing using machines. Because we shouldn't condemn machines completely. Using free weight and machines is better than just using free weights, but your core strength training should be done using free weights. So simple really, if you're a weightlifting noob and are ever unsure what to go for when you first enter a gym, assuming your fitness allows it, free weights are the way to go. Build your body with free weights first, then think about supplementing using machines. Thanks for watching.